And welcome to Mintbase. Um, basically, this is a big deal. The site is a big deal. Um, a lot of people will come land here and they say, oh, here's some random numbers. Uh, here's some images. So what? We've had images hosting on, uh, on websites for a long time. What makes these special? Well, what is Bitcoin? Uh, why is Bitcoin special? Bitcoin is special because we've figured out digital scarcity. Um, I would definitely dive into figuring out what that means. Um, but what this is, is these are images that cannot be changed, uh, metadata that will live on two different chains independently. So if Mintbase dies, this thing's going to continue on. And we're giving you complete control over this asset. So we've got San Francisco Blockchain Week tickets uh, listed on here. We've got um, a bunch of art that people have created. Um, and why this is important is because we're now figuring out bigger things that couldn't get solved before we had these platforms. Uh, so we've got Mintbase uh, by Dow Records uh, made a really neat little um, item. So if we actually click into here, you can see we've got the Mint tape. We've got, uh, it's enabled with a credit or debit. We can buy with a credit card uh, for the folks that have no idea what the heck um, that, you know, buying with ETH means. We actually have the music on the Arweave network uh, along with a PDF that can never be changed or modified, um, all bound to this, uh, this token. So let's, uh, let's take a step back and kind of go uh, a little bit further into what, what all this is or how you can even get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at uh, how it works. So basically you create a store. This is your own verified smart contract that you deploy. This is the most expensive part of the process. Once you've deployed your store, um, then you mint your things on this store. It could be tickets, art, um, uh, fortune cookies, you name it. Um, you could do a lot of, a lot of interesting things. Uh, and then when you sell them, as soon as you sell them on our platform, uh, you can yeah, uh, your uh, value, your ETH value will automatically increase. And anything you can do on our platform can be done via code. You can get all of the token information from our graph, uh, or uh, you can also go straight to the contract and do the interaction with the smart contract directly. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna go ahead and click here. We've got Fortmatic. Um, if you have no idea what a wallet is, uh, use Fortmatic. That's uh, a good, easy way to, to enter into the space. Coinbase wallet, uh, Wallet Connect. This way you actually can go into your trusts, uh, Gnosis Safe or your Argent and actually scan this and you can do all your confirmations uh, on your phone, which is super neat. Just for uh, ease of use, I'm gonna use MetaMask. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm on the right network too. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's sign in. So basically our app isn't in charge of security we just basically say hey we've hooked up to your wallet now uh now we want your wallet to do x y and z and you get to confirm whether that is the correct uh item or not um so here we got kicked into our dashboard um these are all my uh mint based mints either ones that were sent to me or ones that i personally have created if i've created it then you can see this edit um, if I'm the owner, then I can transfer it. You can transfer this using the 0x, uh, or you can send this by maybe even doing nategeyer.eth. If you want to send me money, my ENS domain definitely works. Uh, you can send up to uh, 90 um, different uh, individual tokens uh, at it in a single transaction. So I'm going to click this little guy here. This is going to take me to my builder. So this is where I manage all of my smart contracts. So like I said, this is your store. You can have as many stores as you want. So if I come in here, you can see I have four different stores. If I go into uh, full node, which is a super neat um, co-working space here in Berlin, I highly suggest coming if you want to get to know some other blockchain companies. Beautiful space. Um, also our global pass. Uh, these are all fake, by the way. These are on the, the Rinkeby network just as a, as a show. You can see all of my information actually comes directly from a company called 3box. So you can uh, hop in here and there you go. Uh, also, here's all my different stores. Here's how many have been bought, transferred. Um, we can see all the different settings uh, through that. So if I come in here, what you'll see when you come into Mintbase, since I already have four stores set up, uh, you'll end up seeing 
uh, a system that kind of pops up and asks you to do this. This is, we're gonna create a store. So to do this, I'm gonna, let's, maybe this is Nate's Joe's shop. This is a, a coffee shop that we're gonna call Nate Joe's shop because I call it Joe. Uh, so your ticker symbol is kind of like if you're listing your company on the NASDAQ, uh, you want to be able to easily find it. You can have up to four letters um, and that's how that works. So we're going to go ahead and confirm it. So we just told the blockchain, hey, this is what I want to do. Uh, we had to pay money for that because anytime we change the state of the blockchain, we have to pay a little network fee. Mintbase takes no fees unless you actually sell uh, the item uh, on the system. So what we're doing is we're waiting for that chain to confirm. As soon as it confirms, it will redirect us to Nate's Joe shop. So now it's time to mint our thing. Uh, let's go ahead and mint. So this is what you sort of see. Uh, pretty intuitive, I think. Uh, it's always gonna be improving. Not sure where to stick this guy. Um, but what this is, this is your main image. This is the image that's gonna show up on your wallet. It's gonna show up on OpenSea. It's gonna show up um, in crypto voxels and virtual reality and Decentraland. Um, so you want to get this to be a nice, simple, static image, uh, maybe a, a, a GIF. That's fine too. Uh, let's uh, let's let's give away beans. I think this is a proper proper day to give away some beans. A uh, bag of beans. So if I'm a coffee shop, I want to give away some beans. Let's go bag of beans. Um, let's make some Lorian Ipsen just to make it look pretty. Here's where you'll basically describe what this does and how you get it. Uh, maybe the item is that much money. We can mint 18 of these things. It is a product. Um, like I showed you before, you can upload uh, sound files and MP4s and videos. Those play differently on different platforms depending on how ex uh, other platforms accept it. Maybe we want to set a date for when these beans can be actually redeemed. Uh, we could say it's uh, whatever my shop is in Berlin. Um, we can add custom uh, we even YouTube let's go ahead and add uh, let's say maybe this is a uh, rare item uh, with the value of, of beans so we're gonna go ahead and mint this thing uh, we have basically just loaded our data directly to the are blockchain so any assets all of this uh, bag of bean data actually gets loaded to the are blockchain so the token is minted on Ethereum, and then that token references uh, another blockchain, which grabs all that all that data. So basically, if Mintbase dies, then it'll still exist. So you can see, I didn't update anything. Um, just for really quick sake, I'm gonna just do a whole other one, just to show you the side by side comparison. Maybe we want to do give give whoever is the token holder of this uh, your your choice. Um, it does all sorts of other neat things. Maybe we only want to do three of these. We're going to mint more. And then we confirm it. So you can see this is my one Nate Joe's shop. We've uh, minted these tokens. We have 17 available here. Uh, as soon as that confirms on the other one, you can see we're still in pending. As soon as that pending goes to confirmed, you'll see it automatically update onto our interface. So bingo, bingo. There it goes. You who. All right. So again, we can transfer these uh, to people directly if uh, we don't want them to buy it um, and so on. So uh, if we come in here, uh, this is uh, the, we call the Pez dispenser. If you're not familiar with the Pez dispenser, you just need to send this one link and you'll see the 17 go down to 16, go down to 15. Um, and then your shop will show up here. So that's, that's the super, super high level uh, overview. Uh, one, one last piece is that you can actually come into the settings, uh, say you wanna add other minters uh, to the store. So we can come in here and we can add the minter and they'll show up in the list as it goes. Um, and that, that's it, uh, that'll get you started. There's a lot of other documentation if you come into our docs, uh, this, Probably user UI will get you going. Uh, that'll help you with minting, mint more, how to mint, how to burn, what burning means. Um, if we go into developers, you'll be able to see that uh, you can get your real-time token data directly from our graph. Uh, this is a super powerful uh, system, by the way. So anytime you interact with Ethereum, uh, our graph immediately registers the mint, transfer, buys, 
and then all that data gets spewed out to uh, to IPFS. So that's how our interface actually uh, updates. So anything you've done on Mintbase, you can build your own website as well and do all the tracking here. Let's say you want to track just your one one store uh, or check to see if a user even owns a token. You just need to come in here, resolve the owner, uh, and that'll give you that bit of information. Um, so that's that's the the super high high above. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye.